Have you ever asked yourself what the most creative game idea is? Exactly, a first-person parkour game. <laughs> no, I know, that's what everyone does currently, but I still want to do one. Of course, I'll try to make the movement unique, and I'm even going to add an endless mode. And if you're also one of the parkour game devs, I'll upload the full project file to my Discord server. Maybe that helps you out. Now, let's get started. As you might know, I've already made a character movement script, but it has a few bugs, and as said, I want it to be more unique. Still, it will serve as a good starting point. So I started deleting and rewriting a lot of the code, and also tweaked all of the variables a bit. Now it just feels a lot smoother than before. And have you ever seen such a cool dash? I mean... <laughs> okay, okay, I'll remove it. Now let's put all of this into a new project file. So here we are, I've also tried out Pro Builder a bit and made this beautiful house and whatever this is. Nice, I, I feel like the game is going to look amazing. And house upgrade. I've also added a ladder and this glass platform here, but it's still not a parkour game at all, like you can't even do anything. So full of enthusiasm I started with setting up some basic parkours only to find out that the wall running doesn't really work. It's pretty hard to control. But after tweaking a few values, the wall running feels way better now. And the cool thing is, every time you touch a wall, you can do a wall jump and your double jump gets reset too. So if you're skilled enough, you can combine wall jumping and double jumping to get up pretty much anywhere. For example, if we have a look at this in slow-mo, it was jump, double jump, wall jump, double jump, wall jump, and another double jump. Cool. Now one problem that I had was deciding what the player's speed should be. Because slow and precise movement feels amazing, but so does really fast movement. The idea I had was that you would start really slow, but throughout the level you start getting faster. But building up speed should really take some time, because the more time it takes to reach high speed, the better it feels when you're finally there. So here's what I came up with. It looks complicated, but it's pretty straightforward. If the player's velocity is somewhere in this range, nothing happens. But as soon as it moves here, the whole range starts moving upward. And of course also the other way around. Also, if the player is too fast, he gets slowed down again. For that, I just changed the rigidbody.drag to 1. That works pretty much the same way as the parachute. In-game, the speed gets displayed with these numbers, but I might change that later. Also, I added the ability to slide down slopes. And then I made the jump pad. Um, <laughs> okay, I fixed it. Now I wasn't so happy with the look of the game, so I think um, lens uh, distortion should definitely fix that. Let's go! Okay no, seriously now. The thing is, I have no clue how I want the game to look. Maybe a bit like Carlson, inside of a building with the basic pro builder materials. But you know, I don't just want to make Carlson 2. I could also go for a more realistic environment, like a forest, cave or desert. That would definitely look cool too. So I think I'm just going to try out different things. And afterwards you can play the game and tell me which style you like the most. Spoiler alert, I'm way too lazy for that. Let's start off with the inside a building style. This is my first time using Pro Builder, so I'm not sure how it'll turn out. And like every good architect would, I started up Photoshop and tried to visualize my design ideas. But then I noticed, wait, why am I planning the level if I could just do it instead? So let's just hope I know enough about Pro Builder, because I'm not quite sure how this will turn out. So that was a bit of work, but now here's a fully working level. I'm definitely going to improve the graphics, but other than that it's finished.
And material upgrade, um, go back. Second material upgrade, looks pretty cool, but they're probably not final. Also, I should really do a bit of interior design. For this, I'll just grab a few 3D models from the asset store and Sketchfab. Also, I recently found these shaders for free in the asset store, and I think they're pretty cool, so why not use some of them? So now we have lava, but nothing happens when you touch it. And then I had a weird idea. I just took this death shader plane and put it right in the face of the player. And for some reason that looks really cool. So I quickly coded a slow motion ability and combined it with this effect. Now of course I want to make more maps. But if I showed them all in detail the video would be too long. And also it would ruin the fun a bit. So as promised let's make an endless mode. My first idea was this box, which is always moving with the player. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know that wasn't really a clever idea, because if the box always moves with you, you don't even notice that you're moving at all. Anyway, I fixed it and now it's always spawning new walls in front of the player while removing old walls behind him. That's what we need. Of course, it's still extremely boring. We definitely want to have some walls and platforms for awesome parkour skills. So there we go. <laughs> it doesn't look good and also you can't really reach most of these platforms. But like you can see here, it's spawning a bunch of platforms totally outside of reach for me. And same with the walls. It just needs a bit of fine tuning, I guess. So here we are again. What I did is basically let every platform and wall choose a position and then check in a certain radius if there's already another object. And if so, it chooses a new position and checks again. This continues until it finds a good spot to be. Also, I made everything spawn more in the middle of the room. And generally, walls spawn a bit higher and platforms a bit lower. With these changes done, it should now be possible to play the endless mode without even touching the ground. But it still looks like randomly generated, so let's also get a few handcrafted parts in there. I ended up making a bunch of different room prefabs, and I think they look pretty cool. But I won't spoiler too much, so you can actually try it out yourself. But now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, you can download the whole project file over my Discord. And maybe leave a like if you enjoyed the video.